If you're wanting to uh, create a index number, you can use this in your project or um, use it for other things, but this is a good way of doing an index number with the shares that you've got. Now I'm only using two companies here, and I'm not going to do it, go into great detail, but I'll show you how it works, because it's exactly the same as what you have in the exam with the uh, AMV, which is the aggregate market value, um, and adding it all up, and then working out how much you've got, and then making an index number dividing by dividing the AMV2 divided by AMV1 and times it by your base number. So it's the same things as what you've done there but doing it in a spreadsheet. So I've got Telstra and BHP and just listed them from uh, the earliest to the latest. Now you've got to work out how many shares you're going to have in your portfolio of these little suckers. So I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have 2,000 BHPs and 1,000 Telstras. Okay. Now to work out the value, it's just the number of shares you've got times by the share price. So that will just be equals that one star that one. And it gives you 4,410, which is great. Same with this one, equals that one plus, oh, oops, times that one. Gives you that. Now we want that to be the same all the way down. So if you grab this, but watch what happens, if you grab this and drag it down, it works beautifully and gives you a thousand all the way down. Let's have a look at this one here, two thousand all the way through. If we click on this one here, it'll then fill all the way down, and the same with this here, all the way down. And notice that it makes all the changes for you. We have to generate an AMV, which is your aggregate market value, which is just those two added together. In the table that you've used before, it's going vertically, not horizontally. So it's that one plus that one, which is pretty cool. Now we want to then times it all the way down. Now we've got um, to divide AMV2 by AMV1 and times it by our base number. So in here we can go equals this one, divide by this one. But we've got no base. We've got no base number at all. So what you can do is put a bracket in here a bracket in here and put the base number in here. So let's start with the base of 500. So we will now have to go H3, which is that one, divided by H2, which is that one, and then times it by where we've put our base number and it gives us our index of 501. Now if you drag this down to the next one, it will do it. It will keep on going so it goes up because it then just grabs here it's got H3 divided by H2, H3 divided by H2 times by I2, which is beautiful. Come down to the next one, it's going to be H4 divided by H3 times by I3, which is that one there. So it means it's actually calculating as we go, and if we go like that, we've got an index number, which is cool. So if you wanted to, you could actually graph that um, and draw a graph of the date against the index number. Okay, if we want to put a graph to this, we really only want the date and our index. Okay, We don't want anything else. So if you go highlight that one and hold down control and hide that one, it will then look at graphing just those two columns. If you then go to insert, line graph, 2D, it will draw you an index number on the data that you've got. So you can see how the market is generally going up by these things. Okay, so it's actually quite a good way of doing it. It's, it's a not a bad little uh, way of making your own index number and having a look at how your shares are going. You could then also get uh, the All Ordinaries Index in this column here and draw a second line on there and that second line could be the All Ordinaries Index versus your share index. And that would be a good comparison that you can do some discussions on.